Welcome to the Cotton Channel. Today we are visiting the very, very, very famous Ganesha Shrine right in front of Central World in the heart of Bangkok. This is a place where you will never miss because it's so near to Central World, Platinum Mall and Siam Paragon. It's where everyone goes shopping at in Bangkok. So it's very easy to get here. When you are outside of Central World, when you're walking towards to Platinum Mall, it is just right in front of Central World. So you will never, never, never miss this place. So because this is a very famous tourism spot, so there's a mixture between local people and also tourists from all around the world that comes to give their offerings and pray to Ganesha. So if you do not know how to pray to Ganesha, it's very easy because right in front of the Ganesha Shrine, there are a few stores over there selling the offerings and they are selling it according to packages. So there's packages from maybe 50 baht to 100 baht and then it might go up to uh, 500 baht to 1000 baht. So as you can see in the video, this Ganesha Shrine is just so beautiful. It is in gold color. I don't know whether it's in gold plated, but it is such a beautiful Ganesha statue over here. And and this shrine that is uh, housing the Ganesha is so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. The sculpture, the workmanship, the decorations, it is really, really very beautiful. And you will feel peace immediately, although it's in the middle of a big city. Uh, you will see pigeons around that area and then you'll find it very peaceful when you pray to Ganesha. So if you have followed my previous video on the story of Ganesha, you'll realize that in Hinduism, Ganesha is the god that you pray to first before you pray to the other gods. So when you come to Bangkok, the good idea is actually to pray to Ganesha first before you pray to all the other gods. That's how the locals do it and that's how the Hindus do it. But of course, if you do it the another way around, there's no problem. Ganesha will not punish you for that. The other gods will not punish you for that. But so just so you know, that is how they actually practice it. But if it's more convenient for you, maybe you stop by all the other places first. You can pray to the other gods first. There's no problem. But if you have the choice, you can pray to Ganesha first before you pray to the other gods. So the locals believe that Ganesha is very good at granting wishes, uh, especially when it comes to prosperity, wealth, career, and also studies, because Ganesha represents these few things. Uh, Ganesha represents uh, wisdom and also represents prosperity. And also Ganesha is also the remover of all obstacles as well. So this is personally my first time giving my offerings and praying to Ganesha in this Ganesha shrine because normally I would go to the Ganesha temple which is in Hui Kuang and you can actually check out my another video. I've actually made a few videos about the Ganesha temple and I always make my wish over there and I always ask for guidance from Ganesha and it seems like it kind of works and then Ganesha will lead you towards your success or whatever that you are wishing for uh, in a very mysterious way. He won't be so direct, he will guide you in a very indirect way. And then as you can see, there's a lot of Ganesha, there's a lot of elephant sculptures surrounding Ganesha, right? These are actually offerings made by uh, by people. So maybe their, their wish come true or maybe their, their suc they get success in their life, maybe they get a very good career opportunity, maybe they got a lot of wealth, then they come back to Bangkok and they make their offering to Ganesha uh, to, to, to pay back their, their wishes. So although there's a store selling all those offerings and all those incense and offerings and all those stuff, right? You can actually buy your own offerings from elsewhere, maybe from 7-Eleven or from a store or from everywhere. It's available all over in Bangkok. So Ganesha actually likes mail. Uh, Ganesha actually likes sweet stuff. So you can actually get sweet stuff for him like sweet desserts, sweet snacks and all these things to give your offer to Ganesha. So we have come to the end of this video. If you like Ganesha, you can actually check out my other video on the Ganesha temple in Hoi Kuang, Bangkok and also my other video explaining the origin of Ganesha and his history and how he grants wishes and all this stuff. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.